the power of the atom, the force of the winds and water, must be main sources of energy for our grandchildren. Americans are 5% of the world's population, and there's 25% of the world's known energy supply. The politics of oil is such that the guy that gets there first with the most troops might control it. If the Arabs just stopped the oil today, what would happen to us? How long would we last? Societies don't last forever. When was the last time you met a Roman? I never dreamed in my lifetime I'd see $100 a barrel oil. And the higher it goes, the happier I am. That's an oil deal. Three or four billion dollar return. I imagine all that oil out of Iraq, I'll bet you every drop of it said in the United States, which is a good thing. We need it. We just lost two and a half million dollars on that well today. And it's gone. Not a drop in the bucket. It's a lot of work for not a drop in the bucket. All you have to do is keep fear in the market. They've got the deals with all these oil barons in other parts of the world. We were holding oil off of the market to drive the price of oil to three dollars a barrel. We shouldn't videotape that either. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 no. Don't worry. No. We know the country that harnesses the power of clean, renewable energy will lead the 21st century. There are not that many more jobs for people on the oil rigs. And this hype that you hear today about global warming, it is largely man-made. It is not something that's man-made. We're working with Mother Nature. We're not working against her. We need to tear the oil industry loose from yesterday and get them thinking about tomorrow. If they ever learn the basic theory of supply and demand, we could be in trouble. Available now on iTunes.